It seemed a long time coming, but after three failed attempts at pushing her Brexit deal through Parliament, the UK Prime Minister finally conceded mission impossible. I believe it was right to persevere, even when the odds against success seemed high. But it is now clear to me that it is in the best interests of the country for a new Prime Minister to lead that effort. It is, and will always remain, a matter of deep regret to me that I have not been able to deliver Brexit. It will be for my successor to seek a way forward that honours the result of the referendum. May spent years back and forth to Brussels negotiating her Brexit deal. When she finally brought it home, her agreement provoked howls of protest from all sides of the parliamentary political divide. And now, forced to tearfully accept defeat. I do so with no ill will, but with enormous and enduring gratitude to have had the opportunity to serve the country I love. Former Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson is favourite to replace May. Parliamentary supporters of Brexit convinced he can talk tough to Brussels. If Boris Johnson was Prime Minister, they know Boris Johnson would take us out on a no-deal basis, so they probably would be much more willing to renegotiate. Britain's ruling Conservatives now enter six weeks of potentially divisive leadership campaigning. Brexit is once again parked. The country apparently taking a step near leaving the European Union without any agreement strategy and all the economic consequences that such an action entails. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.